My name is Matthew Clint, and this is video two of getting iCade working in Unity for your iOS device. Uh, this uses the same project as uh, video one. I haven't added anything new. I'm just going to show you how to take it from the point we were at in that video and get it onto your device and the iCade controller working with it. So, first thing I want to hit on is uh, optimizing. So, right now we've got just two objects in the scene and they really just have the default texture or material but I need to make a new material to put on them uh, uh, let's just say default to new material um, but the important thing I want it to be is it needs to be one of the mobile materials or shaders I should say should have the mobile shader um, because if it doesn't, it could take too long to render and then the time between when you press the button and something actually happening on screen is too far apart that it just doesn't feel right. So be sure you optimize your game as much as you can so that there is no lag between the button presses and what happens on screen. So I drug that material onto both the capsule and the cube so we should be good. It doesn't look any different on screen right now. Um, next thing to do would be to go to your build settings and let's switch the platform to iOS instead of PC or Mac. Okay, done. You can see the little Unity next to it. Um, and then let's check player settings too. Uh, let's see, company game name, we'll just say Terrible Games. And fix this one up. Dot, let's say I K K demo. Um, you can set your company name, product name, bundle identifier to whatever you need. I just need it to this so that it actually exports properly onto my device. Um, and that would be it. The next thing we're going to do is just hit. Um, not sure where it's listed in here. Oh, build and run. There it is. Control B. Build. Oh, and save it somewhere. We'll just say iOS. So here we've got Xcode open with the project that Unity created. And now in the classes folder, I need to add some files from the GitHub repo. And we need all of the, let's see, there's five of them. They all begin with the word iCade. And just drag those from your finder over into the classes folder. Now, uh, yes, copy the items into the destination, that's fine. Um, we don't need to make any changes to those files. Uh, the file you do need to make changes to, though, is appcontroller.mm. And in the repo, there is a file with that same name, but do not copy and paste it over there, because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to just wholesale put that on the internet, um, but what I did was, if you just double click on it so it opens its own window, I just added the lines of code that we need to move into the existing one. Um, so these two import lines, we'll just copy those and put them just right below the includes and imports that are already there. Uh, next, let's go, let's go back to that window. Uh, now in the function start unity, I need to copy these lines of code that all refer to the iCade. Select them all, do that. Let's do a quick search for start unity. There it is. Okay, so within that function, it starts here. A few lines later ends there. Just before the end of it, we'll paste that code in. Save that. And that is it, so let's build and run it on our device. And here it is running on the iPad. Left, right. Let's do a jump. Looks good. So, that is how you get iCade running on your iOS device in Unity. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please comment, let me know um, any issues, uh, report them through the GitHub repo. Thank you.